you going out and doing that in America and talking to all those coaches, was that a mutual decision or was it something that you told Rob you was going to do? But ultimately, did you kind of go there with his, not consent, but blessing? As a man, I have to do what's right for me. I speak to Rob about it. And Rob, as a man, agrees that if that's good for you, champ, you do what you've got to do. Rob's not a controlling type of person. He's very laid back and he's happy to see the progression of what's needed. Rob was once a fighter as well. Rob took himself to America. He fought out there for three years. So he gets that transition, do you know what I mean? And it's only right at this stage in my career that I do it as well. Hindsight, do I have any regrets? Maybe, I wish I would have done these things sooner. But I've done it now and I think it's only gonna add to my game. Make me. None of these trainers, in my humble opinion, with all due respect, no one can make you, do you know what I mean? But it's what you take from it. It's your application from what you get in that environment. So I'm just taking... Those are the words of Anthony Joshua, and that, of course, was the extensive interview he had with uh, Coogan Cassius. Shout out to him for conducting this uh, viral video. And, you know, I'm looking at, I'm listening to... Um, Anthony Joshua, and it was a good question by Coogan, like, hey, will, will that be, in fact, a, um, did he give you his blessing? Like, what did he, what was his reaction? Because that's always something that you want to hear, be when a fighter does branch off and, you know, and, and wants something new and wants another trainer. And, you know, it, it, the way Anthony Joshua explained it, he was like, as a man, I need to do what's best for me. Now, mind you, he said that first. He didn't say that. Oh, Rob thought it was cool. <laughs> he said, no, as a man, I have to do what's best for me. So to answer that first part of that question, in other words, well, I don't really, I don't really care how he felt. This is what was going to happen. Okay. But then later on, you know, of course, he explained like, well, hey, he looked and said, hey, you know, whatever's good for you, champ. You know what I mean? So that was good, you know, and that was the way it's supposed to be. And, of course, you you heard him say that, hey, I should have done that sooner. Yeah, maybe, because a lot of people wanted him to do that sooner. However, let's look at it like this, right? If Joshua would have knocked out Usyk in the 10th or 11th round, or let's say even the 12th round after everything said and done, he would have caught Usyk and knocked him out. Nobody would be having these conversations or better yet, the question to ask yourself, would these conversations have even take, took place that he needs to sack McCracken and he needs to do this and do that, you know, because no one really cares when you win, I noticed. Well, when you lose, everyone's looking for everything else besides what actually happened. And as you also heard Anthony Joshua say, like, hey, these guys can't make me fight. It's what you learn from what these guys are offering you versus what you can use in the ring. But it's only you in the ring at the end of the day. OK, so that's something I'm glad he did say, because it doesn't matter who the hell he has in his corner. If he has some type of mental uh hindrance or whatever because or gun shy from the damn Andy Ruiz fight okay well that's going to be something that he and only he will uh have to overcome okay and I'll leave you guys with this okay um at least at least he had the conversation man to man with Rob McCracken okay instead of certain fighters and I'm not going to say any names right <laughs> getting their father or someone else to co to come with that information that they no longer want to work with that trainer. Okay, so, you know, at least that shows you the character of Anthony Joshua that, hey, let me talk to you straight up, like he says, man to man, and tell you about what I need to do to better my career for me. Okay, so... Um, just giving you guys a counterpunch on this video about him and Rob McCracken and uh, the reaction that Rob had when Anthony Joshua told him man to man that he was, in fact, going to venture out elsewhere.
But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunch. Peace.